Welcome at our superfood channel for rabbits and rodents. Today we will dive into understanding and managing respiratory infections in rabbits. My name is Rob. I'm author of dozens of pet books sold in more than 25 countries. If you have any questions or remarks or additions, leave a comment and I will respond. Did you know that rabbits can suffer from respiratory infections just like humans? Indeed, rabbits, while adorable and gentle, are not immune to health issues. Respiratory infections are among these health concerns that can affect our fluffy companions. These infections can be caused by an array of factors ranging from bacteria and viruses to parasites. Symptoms may surface as sneezing, nasal discharge, labored breathing and even lethargy. If not addressed promptly, these infections can escalate into serious complications, posing a life-threatening risk to rabbits. Therefore, as someone who cherishes rabbits, it's crucial to grasp the signs and understand the causes of these infections. Equipped with this knowledge, we can effectively manage these infections, ensuring the well-being of our furry friends. Now that we've introduced the topic of respiratory infections in rabbits, it's time to delve deeper into the causes of these respiratory infections in our furry friends. So, what causes these respiratory infections in rabbits? Well, a variety of factors come into play here, including bacteria, viruses, and parasites. Let's delve into each of these to get a clearer understanding. One of the primary culprits is a bacterium called Pasteurella multicida. This bacterium resides harmlessly in the upper respiratory tract of healthy rabbits, but can turn into a troublemaker when the rabbit's immune system is compromised or under stress. Stressors may include poor ventilation, overcrowding or inadequate hygiene which can all provide the perfect breeding ground for this bacterium. Then we have other bacterial villains like Bordetella bronchiseptica and Staphylococcus aureus. These bacteria, while less common than Pasteurella, can also contribute to respiratory infections in rabbits. But bacteria aren't the only troublemakers. Viral infections also play a role. Rabbit caliciviruses and myxomavirus, for instance, can exacerbate respiratory symptoms and weaken the rabbit's immune system. This, in turn, makes the rabbit more susceptible to secondary bacterial infections. It's like a domino effect of health issues. And let's not forget parasites. Encephalitozoon cuniculi, a microsporidian parasite, can infect the respiratory tract of rabbits. This not only leads to respiratory symptoms, but can also cause neurological issues. It's a double whammy of health problems for our fluffy friends. So you see, respiratory infections in rabbits are not caused by a single factor. It's usually a combination of bacteria, viruses and parasites, often exacerbated by stress and poor living conditions. This is why it's so important to keep a close eye on your rabbit's overall health and living environment. Now that we understand the causes, let's talk about how to identify these infections. In the next scene, we'll look at the signs and symptoms of respiratory infections in rabbits so you'll know exactly what to look out for. Stay tuned. How do we know if a rabbit has a respiratory infection? Well, there are several telltale signs to look out for, each serving as an urgent call to action. Firstly, sneezing. It's not unusual for rabbits to sneeze occasionally, but frequent sneezing could indicate a respiratory problem. This is especially true if the sneezing is accompanied by a nasal discharge. This discharge can be clear or may appear cloudy and thick. Next, keep a keen ear out for changes in your rabbit's breathing. Labored breathing, often characterized by rapid, shallow breaths or a raspy sound, can be a sign of respiratory distress. A rabbit in respiratory distress may also exhibit open mouth breathing, a behavior not typically seen in healthy rabbits. Then there's lethargy. If your once energetic and playful rabbit is now showing signs of fatigue, lack of interest in its surroundings or decreased appetite, it could be a symptom of a respiratory infection. These signs may be subtle at first, but remember rabbits are masters at hiding their discomfort. Now these symptoms could indicate other health issues too, not just respiratory infections. So it's essential to consult a veterinarian with rabbit expertise as soon as you notice any changes in your rabbit's behavior or physical condition. A vet can perform a thorough physical examination assessing the rabbit's respiratory rate, listening to the chest for abnormal sounds and examining any nasal discharge under a microscope. These steps help identify the culprit, whether it's bacteria, a virus or a parasite. Prompt veterinary intervention is not just helpful, it's crucial. Respiratory infections can rapidly worsen if left untreated, leading to serious complications and in severe cases can be life-threatening for the rabbit. 
So you've spotted the signs, taken your rabbit to a vet, and a respiratory infection has been diagnosed. Recognizing these symptoms is key, but what comes next? Treatment, and we'll delve into that in our next segment. So your rabbit has a respiratory infection. What now? The journey to recovery starts with a visit to a veterinarian experienced in rabbit care. A thorough physical examination will be the first step where the vet assesses the rabbit's respiratory rate, listens to the chest for abnormal sounds, and examines nasal discharge under a microscope to identify the causative agent. Treatment for respiratory infections in rabbits typically involves a multi-pronged approach. Antibiotics are the first line of defense designed to target and eliminate bacterial pathogens. The specific type of antibiotic and duration of treatment will depend on the bacteria involved and the severity of the infection. But antibiotics are just one part of the equation. Supportive care is equally important to alleviate symptoms and improve the rabbit's overall well-being. This might include medications to reduce nasal congestion and difficulty breathing and dietary support to ensure the rabbit continues to eat and drink normally. Environmental management also plays a pivotal role in managing respiratory infections. This means addressing any stress factors such as poor ventilation, overcrowding or inadequate hygiene that could have contributed to the infection in the first place. A clean, well-ventilated environment can help speed up recovery and prevent reinfection. In severe cases, hospitalization and intensive care may be necessary. This allows for round-the-clock monitoring and treatment, ensuring the rabbit receives the best possible care during this critical time. Hospitalization can be stressful for both the rabbit and the owner, but it's often a necessary step to stabilize the rabbit and provide the intensive treatment needed for recovery. Remember, every rabbit is unique, and what works for one might not work for another. It's important to work closely with your veterinarian. Follow their advice and monitor your rabbit's progress closely. Treatment is essential, but prevention is always better than cure. In the next scene, we'll delve into strategies to prevent respiratory infections from proper husbandry practices to vaccinations, because when it comes to your rabbit's health, being proactive is the key. How can we prevent these respiratory infections from happening in the first place? Well, prevention starts with good rabbit husbandry. A clean, well-ventilated living space is crucial for keeping your furry friend healthy. Minimizing stresses such as overcrowding or sudden changes in their environment also plays a significant role in reducing the risk of infections. Proper hygiene cannot be overemphasized. Regular cage cleaning and hand washing, especially before handling your rabbit, can keep harmful bacteria at bay. Remember, a clean rabbit is a healthy rabbit. Vaccination is another key prevention strategy. Vaccines against rabbit calciviruses and myxomatosis can shield your rabbit from these viral infections, significantly lowering the chance of respiratory complications. It's a lot to keep in mind, yes, but the reward is a healthy, happy rabbit. By understanding, recognizing and managing respiratory infections, you can ensure the health and happiness of your rabbit. The effort is worth it. After all, who doesn't love a happy bunny? If you found this video helpful or interesting, show some appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing for more. This helps us a lot so we can make more informative videos about rabbits and rodents. We are working on a group of channels around superfood and health in pets and animals. The first three channels are about horses, rabbits, and a channel about cats. There are already hundreds of interesting videos. We will be creating more. You can find the links in the description below. We hope to see you there.